While we look down at our phones They'll drop a bomb from a drone Then an explosion We should've known it and sightings have led to fear and uncertainty, with many wondering what the aliens' intentions may be. World leaders are working to calm the public and assure their safety, but the situation remains tense. Experts continue to investigate and gather more information as the world grapples with this unprecedented event. My fellow Americans, today we face a challenge unlike any other in our history. As you may be aware, strange alien objects have arrived on our planet while we do not yet know their intentions, we must remain calm and approach this situation with the utmost care. I have ordered our government officials to work with international partners to gather more information and develop a coordinated response. We will remain vigilant and steadfast in our efforts to protect our planet and its inhabitants. President Vladimir Putin has accused the U.S. of inviting the aliens to our doorsteps through unprovoked attacks on the UFOs that were recently shot down over the U.S. and Canada. Putin suggested that the U.S. attacks on the UFOs may have broadcasted Earth's location to the aliens. He added that the world is about to pay a heavy price for what he called America's outrageous actions. In a bold move that has sent shockwaves through the international community, Russia, China and India have announced that they are teaming up to make first contact with the aliens. The new plan involves a joint task force of scientists, engineers and other experts working together to develop technology capable of communicating with the aliens. The United States government has expressed that it will not support Russia's efforts to make first contact with the aliens. In a statement released earlier today, President Joe Biden stated that the U.S. government will block any actions that could potentially put national security at risk. Today, I ordered our brave men and women at the Space Force to do whatever it takes to prevent Russia and its allies from making first contact with the aliens. We are determined to prevent any exchange of technology between the aliens and these nations, which could jeopardize the national security of our country. I urge the international community and our NATO allies to stand up to this unprovoked attack on global security. Sleepy Joe will not handle this situation very well. The aliens could be hostile for all we know, but if I were the president, the aliens would have loved me. Ask anyone in Area 51 and they will tell you the truth. When I visited Area 51, everyone was impressed by how aliens greeted me. I was the smartest person in the room. I dissected some aliens and they didn't even scream. Nobody heard them scream. I created Space Force. I don't think Sleepy Joe will give me any credit. Concerns continue to rise over Russia's growing interest in exchanging technology with the aliens, which could put global security at risk. Russia said it's committed to sharing any alien technology it receives with the rest of the world and will be transparent with the international community. NATO is prepared for situations like this. The NATO allies led by the U.S. have announced joint efforts to prevent Russia from making first contact with the extraterrestrials. And let there be no doubt, the commitment of the United States to our NATO alliance and Article 5 is rock solid. Footage resurfaced of two SpaceX rockets blasting off to space in an unannounced launch. Witnesses believe they could be carrying delegates of the NATO allies who are tasked with communicating with the aliens. A group of delegates representing Russia and its allies left off on board the Soyuz spacecraft on their way to make first contact with the extraterrestrials in orbit. 
President Vladimir Putin himself attended the launch and said that Russia will do everything within its power to protect its allies. Russia has declared NATO's attempt to make first contact with the aliens an act of war, as delegates of several nations await in orbit for any sign of alien response. Russian Minister of Foreign Affairs Sergei Lavrov accused SpaceX of sending nuclear weapons into orbit in an attempt to deter Russia and its allies from making any contact with the extraterrestrials. NATO allies led by the U.S. government have rejected Russian claims of smuggling nuclear weapons into orbit. Tensions in orbit continue to escalate as the race to make first contact with aliens reaches new heights. According to witnesses, Russia launched three Soyuz spacecraft in the last 24 hours. Intelligence reports revealed that the spacecrafts may contain nuclear warheads, a move that comes amid fears of further escalation in orbit. Protests have erupted around the globe calling for the U.S. and Russia and their allies to form a joint team of delegates to make first contact with the extraterrestrials. Over 20,000 peace advocates, including Nobel Peace Prize laureates, signed a joint letter requesting the delegates of both sides in orbit to work together and put Earth's interest first. Russia and its allies have warned the NATO from any attempts at sending astronauts to the alien spaceships as it begins intensifying its surveillance throughout orbit. President Joe Biden said that Russia's empty threats will not deter the NATO from sending its representatives to make first contact with the aliens. The countdown to the first contact with the aliens has begun. The NATO announced today that its delegates will approach the alien spaceship starting tomorrow, a move that defies Russia's threats of retaliation with a swift response. The allies of both groups have reportedly been gathering a stockpile of nuclear warheads in orbit. Houston, this is Earthstream. We're approaching the gate of the mothership. Godspeed, Earthstream. We're counting on you. Americans, we are warning you not to approach the gate, or there will be consequences. Americans, this is your last warning. What's that object that's approaching us? I don't know. Uh, Houston, there is something coming out of the Soyuz spacecraft. We're not seeing anything in our systems, Lieutenant Robert. Any idea what it could be? A short time ago, I ordered the use of our nuclear arsenal against Russia and its allies who have crossed the line with the massacre of our delegation in orbit. Together with our NATO allies, we have launched the wrath operation against every country that was involved in this massacre. I want everyone to accept the new harsh reality that the world will never be the same again. I urge our citizens to take shelter in our nuclear bunkers until the wrath operation ends. We don't know how long it will take, but we are determined to win. Greetings, humans. We have observed your actions with great disappointment. Your inability to see beyond your own selfish desires has blinded you. You have failed to recognize the interconnectedness of all things and the importance of cooperation and respect. We have come here to return your artifact that carried a misleading message of hope and togetherness. You are not who you claim to be. We had hoped that by making contact with you, we could share our knowledge and wisdom and help guide you towards a more enlightened path. But it seems that you are not yet ready to receive our message and that your hearts and minds are still closed to the possibility of a better future. We are the guardians of the universe. We are the cleansers. Our prime directive is to eliminate any hostile civilizations that could pollute the universe with their greed, ignorance, and carelessness. We will give your planet another chance, but we must cleanse it first to prepare it for a new civilization. We hope that one day, a better civilization from your planet will join us in exploring the wonders of the universe rather than destroying them. Farewell, humans. Hello from the 
تحياتنا للأصدقاء في النجوم